Good morning, good people. In a little while, we'll begin the holy season of Lent, and if you're like me, you might be thinking about making a good confession. I'd like to begin with a prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, open my mind and my heart. Help me to know my sins, be truly sorry for them, and humbly confess them. Amen. And then I'd like to open up the Bible and spend a little time with the Word of God to allow the Word of God to shine a light on my life and where I've been in the past few months. Sometimes I'll go to Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness. In the greatness of your compassion, wash away my contempt. Or I might go to St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, and read the story of the prodigal son, or about that lost sheep who was found by the Good Shepherd. And when the lost sheep was found, the Good Shepherd put him on his shoulders and brought him home with joy. And after taking some time to meditate upon the Word of God, then I look at my own life. Sometimes I just go through the Ten Commandments one at a time and think about how I've been doing. Have I been keeping holy the Lord's day? How have I been doing in respecting the gift of life that I've received? Have I been pure of heart? Have I been telling the truth? And in all kinds of ways, I can look at my life and see how I've been doing as a good follower of Jesus. And then I also want to think about the people I need to forgive, because that's an important part of being reconciled with God and with my neighbor. I need to ask the Lord for the grace to forgive everyone from my heart. And then I'm ready to go to confession. And I sit down with the priest and I say, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been two months since my last confession, and here are my sins. And always it's good to confess the big ones first, and then whatever other sin might be weighing upon our mind or our heart. And then we listen to the good counsel of the priest. Usually the Holy Spirit will give him a word of, of, of counsel to encourage us on our journey of faith, and then he'll suggest to us a penance to do, maybe to read some scripture or to say some prayers that we already know, maybe to do an act of kindness for someone on our journey of faith. Whatever it might be, the penance is an act of thanksgiving for the gift of forgiveness that we've received from the Lord, or it might even be a remedy for sin to help us grow in grace and in holiness. Then we say our act of contrition. We can say one that we learned as a child, or we can make it up on the spot. A sincere prayer from the heart, expressing our sorrow and asking the Lord for the forgiveness of our sins. And then in a beautiful way, the priest says the prayer of forgiveness, the prayer of absolution, invoking the cross and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, granting us the gift of the forgiveness of our sins as we make the sign of the cross on ourselves. My sisters and brothers, we Capuchin friars are praying for you. Have a happy and holy Lent.